I said the king's in the building. Uh, 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 tell me how you feeling. Yeah, I said the king's in the building. Uh, uh. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Things back again. Doing big things on all the vibes, man. Coming back to you guys today with another video. And as y'all can see by the title, uh, I found a insanely good way of uh, farming runes. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to the first step. Uh, side of grace where you first started the game but before you do that you have to defeat the boss uh star scourge verdon i'll leave a link in the description uh, on how to beat this boss because uh, you're going to need to do it as a prerequisite for this room farm okay uh after you defeat uh Radon, um, you're gonna go to this message here. It says find yourself maidenless question mark off to Lyurnia with you then seek the Rose Church west of the gate town um, so where the church is on the map is You're gonna go up through Lyurnia Highway north and you're kind of gonna veer off into this kind of like swamp area and it's going to be right here um, This little island here. So if you have any of the lost graces um you know, unlocked. Pick the closest one, and you're gonna travel to it. All right, now you're gonna meet this little NPC outside. Ah, there you are. Uh, so you're gonna want to pick the top choice here. They didn't seem uh -huh. right. All right, so after she's done with the, he's done with the dialogue. You're gonna, gonna you're gonna go right back oh, to him. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something. F and you're going, and you're going to get the festering bloody finger. Use the festering bloody finger to attempt to invade the world of another player. Okay, so this is a uh, multiplayer. This is where multiplayer comes in. The multiplayer session will begin once the invasion succeeds. You will take the role of an invader, Bloody Finger, and your objective is to defeat the host of fingers of that world. If you stray far from the host of fingers, the compass at the top of the screen points to their locations. So you're supposed to do this three times. You don't have to win or lose. It doesn't matter. And then come back to this... Um, Come back to this NPC. So we'll do that real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right. So after you do your three invasions, you're gonna come back to this NPC, and oh, he's going kid. to give you another you gift. A... What do you say, my lambkin? Hmm. Yes. Who would now? Normally, this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden will do. All right, sounds like um, with this cloth he just gave us, it seems like we have to go wipe a maiden's blood with it. Very interesting. Kind of creepy. All right, so to get the blood of the Maiden, uh, we have to go up toward this place, this church, right around this area, so we're going to have to find it. It's called the Church of Inhibition, so we're going to go find it real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, before you're allowed to go into this church, you have to take out an NPC. Uh, it's very annoying, it's very quick, very fast, but we finally beat him. We got his Vikes War Spear um, and another Furl Calling of some kind. Uh, you're going to want to take a rest at the Lost Grace here. Uh, you're going to want to get the Lord of Blood's Favor. All right, after you get the cloth and whatever the, the blood thing is from her, uh, you're going to want to go all the way back to the uh, the Rose Church and meet with the NPC out, outside of the uh, the gate. Oh, yeah, stick that finger in me. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. The hell's going on? All right, we got the the bloody finger that's now inside of us. Never forget that feeling of agony. All right, so we now got the pure blood knight's medal. 
So now that we got the Pure Blood Knights Medal, we're gonna have to use it now, and it's gonna transport us to the location where uh, uh, the max XP is gonna be available for us. So let's uh, take this, and we'll uh, be right back. All right. Unfortunately, we can't use the use torrent, so got the map. I think we're in the underground world now. This is Mogwin right here. Yeah, this is the underground world. Okay, so now we're just gonna go run past as many enemies as we possibly can. Stop at a couple of Lost Graces on the way. All right, guys, don't bother fighting anybody in s that you see. They're just going to beat the shit out of you, and it's not even worth it. Oh, my God. Why am I doing an emote? Fuck. Ooh, I'll take that Summer Smith of Zone 7, Depp. Just make sure you're not getting stuck. Good. Keep running. And we're going to look for a cave. Where the hell is the cave? Okay. Oh my god. I did not plan on using a flask here, but I guess. Alright, so once you go into this cave, you're gonna go up here, and then it's gonna fork. You're gonna take the right of the fork, okay? Alright, now you're gonna loot this dude, see what he's got. Lord's room. Cool. You're gonna keep running past. Remember not to fight anybody. God. Yep, we're gonna have to fight somebody. Dude. Like I said. Work to the right. Follow up these stairs, grab the rooms. And I think it's up here. I'm pretty sure it's up here. There's a lost grace. I know somebody's chasing me. Here. Yeah, we're gonna rest right here. Alright, so once you have everything equipped, um, you're gonna go up to this boss here. And what's crazy about this uh, cheese, this is crazy. Um, so you're gonna skip through this. You're gonna let the boss defeat you, okay? have a whole bunch of runes you use it unfortunately i had to waste seven thousand but for the return we're getting on this it's going to be ridiculous so the next thing what you're going to want to do is basically remove all of your clothes we want you to be as lightweight as possible nice little thong right there i'm going to take everything out Alright, so now that you revived yourself the Steak of Marika, we're gonna cheese this boss. So basically, we're gonna sneak into this, like, battle room without going through that front door right there. We're just gonna hop the fence like we're a fucking... we're a bunch of thieves and felons. So you're gonna wanna hop to this grave right here. So once you get onto this gravestone, what you're gonna have to do is jump once in the air and hold circle, okay? You're just jumping straight up. And then once you land, um, you're gonna you're gonna keep holding circle, right? You're gonna sprint toward that ledge there and jump. Ah, oh, damn. It's gonna take you guys a couple of tries to get this. Um, 
Uh, I'm currently working on it right now, so once I get it, I'll show you what the next thing to do is. One eternity later. Oh my god. Finally got it after like 15 or 20 attempts, so thank god. So the funny thing is, when you land into the battle room, the boss is going to have no idea that you're even here. So you just collect your ruins here. Did I even have any? I didn't. All right, great. Um, so basically, now you're just going to equip... I guess you can just equip everything. And he's just going to be sleeping, bro. We got the remembrance of the blood lord we'll be uh, definitely checking those out at the round table in a little bit um so let's see how much yep we got f oh my god i forgot to oh i could have got 150,000 more i'm a dumbass okay so what i failed to do was activate the um gold pickle foul foot you're supposed to um enable it you're supposed to use this item here uh, when he's just about to die, and I forgot to do that. I just I just sold 150,000 runes, so um, I only got 504 with the golden scarab that I had, which is not bad. So we're gonna unlock this uh, side of grace here. Definitely gonna upgrade my guy. Looking to upgrade my. Um, my strength real quick that was the way to get 650,000 runes and now I'm gonna show you guys another ridiculous way on how to rune farm in this same area so right now we're gonna go back to the original uh, grace site of dice Dy dynasty mausoleum entrance and basically we're gonna follow this path all the way around we're gonna go up to the blood here and then we're gonna go up here there's a lost grace right there and i'll show you what the next step after is after we find it all right guys so once you um run through that path and get to the lost grace over here um you're gonna want a bow and arrow so you're gonna equip that and make sure when you're running through that path don't be scared like don't try to engage with any enemies or anything like that but definitely look for those um items you can pick up from those dead people uh there's a lot of good somber smithing stones there's sixes sevens fives like i really needed those so um those are some good scores right there um so yeah so all you're gonna do is make sure you have your rune arc if you have a rune arc um you're gonna want to activate that and now what are you gonna do make sure you have your golden scarab still activated on your talisman, and then you're gonna take out your fucking what you call it bow and arrow all right, so my bad. I was doing it wrong, y'all. I was having issues getting the the chicken to fall off the uh, the side of the the cliff. So I was shooting him from here. You're gonna want to run over to this little rock here and then start shooting him. All right, I got him. Now he's gonna fall off. Right there. It's thirteen thousand runes. Nice. So the way you just spawn him again, let's go to the uh, grace. There he is. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. Got him. Gonna run off. And another 13K. Crazy, man. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, drop a sub. I'm going to go uh, buy more bolts now. I'm out till next time. Peace.